American musician Janis Joplin was a product of the blues, jazz and beat generation, becoming one of the world's greatest rock legends. I started singing when I was about 17. One day I started singing and I could sing. It was like, a, it was a surprise. As a teenager, Joplin was entranced by the music of blues legends like Bessie Smith and Big Mama Thornton. And at school, she was ostracized and bullied because of her weight. Why you she couldn't figure out how to make herself like everybody else. Her earliest recorded performances were in the early 60s with a folk trio called the Walla Creek Boys. She began using drugs recreationally early in her career as a means of fitting in with her new friends in the burgeoning peace and love movement, celebrating her sexual identity and the liberation of her gender in relationships with both men and women. In 1963, she moved to the notoriously drug fueled Haight Ashbury neighborhood in San Francisco and recorded a number of blues standards with guitarist Joel McAlkinen and his wife, later released as the bootleg typewriter tapes. In 1965, after a period of heavy drug use, Joplin returned home emaciated for a period of detox and clean living. During this time, she established herself as a live soloist and she returned to the West Coast to pursue a musical career. Joplin hit the big time in 1967 after joining Big Brother and The Holding Company as their lead vocalist. Her reputation as a powerful lead singer was sealed by her performance at the Monterey Pop Festival that same year. Tension soon developed as her personal fame grew, with Vogue magazine describing her as the most staggering leading woman in rock. In 1969 she split from Big Brother to form her own band, releasing a gold album and she played her career-defining gig at Woodstock. In 1970, with her new backup group, the Full Tilt Boogie Band, Joplin joined the Festival Express Railroad Tour of Canada. She also recorded her landmark but sadly final studio album, Pearl. On 4th October 1970, aged just 27, Janis Joplin died from an accidental heroin overdose. Her final recording being a happy birthday message on John Lennon's voicemail. Pearl was released four months later, reaching number one in the US Billboard chart. In 1995, Joplin was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Janice became an icon. She was the only goddess in a sea of rock gods. And her talent was honoured with a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award in 2005. In January 2020, Pearl was digitally remastered and re-released as a limited edition masterpiece on vinyl. Hello.